So this reading is for Aquarius for the month of April or the time that it is that you are watching this now because technically these readings are timeless, although if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you might be waiting for this at the time that April has begun. So Aquarius, I want to say that um, your energy is a little bit more slower and deliberate in comparison to all of the other zodiac signs so far. Um, the, the two that I did before you were very exciting and excitable, and the handful that I did before those two were very, um, I don't say tumultuous, but very much digging, digging into the meat and the root of certain things and like digesting it almost reminded me of energy that's churning like a like a, um, the stomach that digests stuff and for you Aquarius you're very interestingly enough you're very like you you, you you're pulling back <sighs> like that's the vibe that I'm getting hmm like okay which is interesting, Aquarius, because that's not how I would know your energy to be, is very, um, I would normally see you very active and engagement. I don't see, um, I don't see it as depression, although it could be energy of feeling depressed. Um, I'm getting a sense of this is where you're at right now, at the moment that you're watching this. It feels as though you are slowly turning things or watching as things turn and waiting to feel that spark again and as soon as you will you you know that you're going to act i feel as though you know that wherever it, whatever you're in right now is temporary but you still you might be tired too yes this makes a lot of sense your card that just jumped out is the king of swords this is your energy right now aquarius for the month for now i haven't dived into april yet but this is your your energy. It's very, like, I don't want to say this and make it sound creepy, but if you ever see someone sitting in the shadows um, and observing more than they are acting and engaging, that's what I see for you. I see you very much sitting back and observing. And when you are ready to act, you will. But if you do act, I feel like it almost is... Um, to cut something, to put something in its place, or to rectify it. And I feel like that's why, Aquarius, your energy is so deliberate. And so, if I speak out now, will I say the right thing? That's what I, that's why I'm getting. It's very like, if I make this move, is this the right move? Or am I going to regret it? Am I going to have to apologize for what I've said, what I've done, or what has happened. It's very discriminating. Not discriminating in the sense that you're just really, it's discerning. It's very cautious. Um, the word that I just heard is cautionary tale, where in the past you may have seen how things that look similar to what you're experiencing now and what you're going through now, how they have played out. So you're just in your mind, you're like, I have no intention of that happening again because I. it's almost very much like I have no interest in whatever you got to say, whatever it is that's going on. It's very, so you end up doing nothing. You end up holding your tongue. You end up I'm like, all right. You know, that's the vibe that it is that I'm getting from you. I feel like you're being very cautious and aware of what you say, how you say it, and you're discerning. The word is disseminating. That's So if you guys don't know about me, I will hear a word. Um, I will hear a word and then I know what it means, but then I have to look it up. And then the definition adds on to the value of the message. So disseminate, to spread something, especially information widely, to spread throughout an organ or the body. So that, that, that's what it is I'm seeing is that you're, be, <coughs> you're being very cautious of what you say because it feels like it can bleed and spread and create a problem or create more problems for you or 
you don't want it spreading throughout your energy and what it is that you're working on. I'm in the middle of doing a reading right now and all of a sudden there's this huge crane that is showing up outside. So if you see me get distracted or if you hear noise in the background, that's because that's what's going on. Um, Aquarius. This could be in the energy of, or the realms of your relationships, and that's the thing, I'm gonna do a separate reading for your relationships, for love for you, or it could be your relationship with yourself and with others. I'm seeing you really reflecting on the current moment and all that it looks like, all that it feels like, all that it is. Not even so much your feelings, because I'm almost getting a sense that you're detached from your feelings or you're not trying to spend too much time trying to figure out your feelings. Um, I just feel like you're looking at things at, at for what it is, and then you're deciding, okay, you know, what do I want to do with that? Um, you're reading it. You're observing it. You're in, taking it in. Um, okay, let me pull your cards really quickly because Aquarius, your, your energy is very different from the rest of the signs um, for the next 28 to 30 days. Right? See, look, this is you. Knight of Pentacles. Look how you're, do you see how you're observing? That's literally what I said, where you're just kind of sitting back and taking notes and watching. Seven of Pentacles is also about observing and looking at how every piece of the journey to this point has brought us here. But when it's reversed, it's like, I do not want to see all of what this is and then just make a rash decision. You're very calculating, not in a way that is manipulating, but you're just trying not to make the wrong move. You're trying to observe before you react. And I commend you for that, Aquarius. Look, two of swords. It's like this battle. You might be having this internal conflict or a conflict with some someone else or something else. Or maybe it feels like you're, you've been bite, butting your head up against a wall. Like it feels like no matter which way I go, nothing is a solution. No matter what I do, I feel like it's a d defeat. You know, so what do I do? I do nothing. So that's what it is I'm seeing. So, so that's what you're doing right now is you're sitting and you're watching and you're observing. The funny thing is, is that spirit has not given you advice. That's what I'm just noticing about your reading is that anytime when I am doing a reading, I can always be able to hear what spirit's advice is. And I want to say very clearly that what makes your reading so unique and so distinct is the fact that spirit has been quiet throughout this entire reading. I have not heard them to give you advice. It almost feels as though you feel like you may be left alone or left to your own resolution to figure this out. And um, I don't know if that necessarily is the case. And I do not want to say that it is or isn't because I can't confirm and put words in spirit's mouth. But I will shuffle if it doesn't show up yet. But I will say that that's something that I've noticed so far. And at the again, at the root of your reading is the lover's card. But it's really your relationship with yourself it's and how you see things your your vision of it what you're able to see look Aquarius this is your energy five of wands you feel very defensive for the month of April you're feeling very defensive you're feeling very on guard you're feeling like you have something to prove but I don't feel like you just want I don't think that you want to fight any battle I feel like there's a part of you that wants to fight there's a part of you that wants to prove your point and wants to win this but I'm also hearing don't win at all costs. Like don't win just for the sake of winning. Even though this isn't five of swords, it's five of wands. I feel like there's people or you, it's very easy sometimes to, if you're moving from operating from ego and what you want things to be and how you want things to look from how you perceive it, then it's like I will win at all costs. But that's not what we want here. Behind that is the, the tower card. And this card was reversed. And I just feel like you're just trying really hard not to make a bad situation worse. Okay, so the next card we have Empress Reverse. We have Ten of Wands Upright. And we have Three of Wands Reversed. This feels as though um, you're not sure what to give, how to give it, and if to give it all. Um... And at the same time, you're very determined and motivated. Like with the Ten of Wands, 
you will give, um, but I feel like you feel as though if you extend, it will provoke a fight. It will provoke more conflict, more tension, or conflict within yourself. And now I'm starting to feel a sense. It's the, what is missing here is actually the advice. What is missing here from your reading, what it is I don't see is what it is I see you doing. Um, Aquarius, this is going to be really hard for you to accept and to sit with because this is not, and for you to see, because this is not your natural energy. But you are also, Saturn moved into your sign only just recently. And Saturn comes in with a heaviness, a burden, and a responsibility that says if you, it doesn't expect perfection, but it expects you to learn. And your sign is going to have to learn a lot. You're going to have to be way more responsible and conscious and aware of how what you do, how it impacts other people, how it impacts yourself, how it impacts your 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 happiness, your joy. I feel like Aquarius, you you've been um, on guard, not on guard, but just ready to just really um, very like when you have your mindset on something, you're like, I'm going to go, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And Saturn says, you're not going to have that same flexibility and freedom. And I think that's why this message is going to be hard for you, Aquarius, is because you value your freedom. Um, and I, and I feel like it's hard for you to see that there's this message of will, will she, will he be able to see it? Because Aquarius, I don't see you being an ostrich and sticking your head in the sand, but sometimes when you focus on all of these other things going on in the world or what you want to do, you end up ignoring and distracting yourself from the things that, is that you don't want to see. And Spirit is telling you, we need you to see this. What is this? There's a lot of cards that just jumped out. Nine of Swords. Oh my gosh. Nine of Swords. The Judgment Reverse. Five of Pentacle Reverse. Hanged Man. King of Wands Reverse. King of Swords. This is something that you have been... It really plagues you. It gives you anxiety. It makes you emotionally suffer. You're afraid that if you sit and see it that it will make you more vulnerable. So you fill your time and energy with things that make you like avoid, avoid, it's avoidance. This thing is getting closer and closer and I'm trying my best to focus. Like what? Okay, this is awkward. I wish you guys could see this. Um, even as I'm saying this, <laughs> anyways, it's he this in the, the the crane is like perfect level to the mirror to the window and the window is just perfect like he's going to be right what's good is that he has a face mask on see i'm so distracted but this just goes to show this just goes to prove my point which is there are things that are make trying to push themselves into your perspective into your vision 2020, you can't pretend like there isn't a dude on a crane outside of your window when he's been there for how, who knows long, how long. So you have to see it, you have to observe it, and you have to surrender to it. The hangman says, I feel powerless in this situation, but maybe that's the point. The king of swords says, I want to be able to protect myself and to be able to call the shots and to be able to control from a logical perspective, from my perspective. Um, but it's what you've been trying not to see. Even as I'm looking at this, it's this person who's in their tent using all of their swords to protect themselves. I can't hear this. I can't hear it. I can't see it. I can't hear it. La, 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 la. But there's a, a, a mermaid at the very base just tormenting that person. So it's something that has been really zapping your energy. And King of Wands, when he's upright... He is a leader, he's an initiator, he's a change agent, but when he's reversed, he does everything in his power to distract himself, to fill it, fill up his time and space with exciting things and exciting moments and this and this and that, that it ends up being a one big distraction after the other. 
And the judgment card says is that you've been really ignoring this call. You've been really ignoring this message. You've really been um, isolating that aspect of yourself or that aspect of your life or that truth and filling up with other things. And look, even now, it's this person who's like, I don't want to confront it. I don't want to see it. And spirit, this card is reversed and it says it's time to look at it. It's time to observe it. And that's why you're feeling defeated. That's why you're feeling pulled back. That's why you're waiting. Because you're like, I wasn't, this wasn't something that I wanted to do. I have to take a picture of this because this is crazy to me. Um, I'm so sorry, Aquarius. But I just think it's so funny that this guy is out there. I'm trying to do my work and I'm going to have to take another photo when he gets right above the window because he's right there. Anyways, that literally is also perfect timing because that's what's happening is that there's this thing putting, pulling itself right in front of your perspective and you can't help but to observe it and to see it for what it is. Um, look at this, my love. So you have four, this is the past, is you have four of cups. I'm not stopping this reading either. He's going to have to work with me now. Um, you have four of cups reversed. You have the Hermit card reversed, and you have Knight of Cups. Do you see how this? there's something here that is trying to present itself, that's trying to make itself known, and you've been using whatever you've been using in order to make it so that you can't see it, so that you can't observe it, so that it's no longer obvious to you? Hold on, this is hilarious. I guess he's washing the windows. Okay, guys. I'm going to put that on my Instagram. Follow me on Jessica X Alexandria um, at, on Instagram so you can see this picture because this is wild to me. But it's good that our windows are being cleaned. All right. He'll be gone in a minute, and this reading continues on. But you, you can see here with the Four of Cups reverse that there's something here that's been trying to make itself known, trying to make itself for you to observe it, for you to see it. And you've been, actually, the Hermit card, when it's upright, the Hermit card takes that time out and slows itself down so that it can observe. You've been finding all the ways to stay in the dark, all the ways of avoiding that light. And now, Spirit is like, it's time for you to see it. It's time for you to observe it. Um, and that's where it's like, I feel that's why you're being triggered right now. That's why I feel like you're being very... And that's what I think why your word is discernment is because you have to observe. Let me pull up the definition of discernment. Now, I know you know what that means, but that word is so specific for you and your reading. Um, first of all, I want to start with discerning. Discerning means having or showing good judgment. Um, if you just discerning, if you describe someone as discerning, you mean that they are able to judge when things of a particular kind are good and which are bad. This means that you would have to be able to see it. You would have to be able to accept it for what it is and then be um, open to being like, okay, it is what it is. This is what I can do with it. This is what I can't do with it and see it. But if you're running from the truth, if you're not allowing yourself to be discerning, just anything can come in and anything can go and you lose a lot of, you lose a lot of resources. You lose a lot of clarity and truth and purpose and time by wasting your, your efforts, um, concentrating it on dragging something to the finish line when maybe you should just maybe abandon or let it go or just heal it as a whole. Moving forward into the future, we have the moon card. This is about facing those shadow aspects of yourself that are distracting, that <laughs> like the guy outside of my window, facing those sides aspects of yourself six of wands you're gonna feel like you've failed you're gonna feel like you've lost you've actually gained this is going to help you to unstuck yourself yes exactly as i said to unstuck yourself to get yourself out of a sticky situation mentally spiritually emotionally or physically in your actual environment the magician card here and the wheel of fortune it's going to feel like you've succumbed to this acceptance this revelation or this vulnerability if anything this is going to help you to loosen yourself up from that hangman position it's like a person who is walking and they get their foot caught in a rock 
between two rocks. And they just say, okay, I tried getting my foot out by myself and I couldn't do it. So I'm going to only, now I'm going to build my life around my foot being stuck in this rock. Now I'm going to have an online business. Now I'm going to have my friends who are only here around me. Um, and I'm only going to be able to eat these certain things because that's what comes to me. And it's like, yes, you made the best with your circumstances, but you blocked out a whole world. You blocked out all types of opportunity, all types of energy, just because you said that this is it and I'm going to just res resolve myself to this, like if that's the right word. I'm just going to stay in the status quo. And Spirit says that you've been doing that for a long time. You might not see that. That's the big thing. You might not be able to see it as that, but Spirit says we can see everything and we can see that that's what it has been. Aquarius, I do want to say my apologies for this reading for being so distracted by the guy outside of the window, but um, it seems, I feel very clear on my message to you. But I want to pull a card for you really quickly. Yeah, this has everything to do with, it could have everything to do with family, family, family support, support, finding where you belong, finding people who value you and that you're expressing that value to each other. Everyone serves their purpose. Everyone serves their role in society. And you, it can't just be your way, this way, their way. It has to serve everyone. Now I'm really feeling called to do Wisdom of the Oracle for you and also the Enchanted Map, Aquarius. I want to ask for advice. Mm-hmm, see? Um, one more. Yes. Okay. So the first things that are standing out, and this is not advice, but you need help, Aquarius. You need a leg up. The universe right now is finding all the ways that it can in order to help you so that it's not just you doing everything or you doing it your way. It's emphasis on your way, your perspective of things, how you view things, how you view yourself, how you view others. They want you to have um, a better... A better chance, a better fighting chance without fighting. They want things to be better for you. They want you to be able to be vulnerable. With the yin energy reversed, yin energy is your ability to receive, your ability to what you're actually doing now. And you actually are probably uncomfortable with you sitting back and observing and waiting and letting someone else call the shots. And it's like, well... Allow yourself to be, allow yourself to learn. Allow yourself to be transformed by this. Allow your circumstances and your chance, your chance to get your foot out. You can't do that. We can't help you if you are thrashing around all over the place and distracting yourself with all these things because you keep moving. So the universe says if you stay still and you allow us to help you, if you allow yourself to be vulnerable, if you allow yourself to be soft, we will be able and flexible. We will be able to pull you out of the situation without hurting you and without hurting anyone else. So allow us to do that. We're going to help. And now that I'm thinking about it, literally a leg up, literally a leg up. We're pulling your foot up out of this, this rock, this space that it's been stuck on. We are helping you. Your message is so clear. Now, when it comes to your advice, Aquarius, the first card that jumped out is mending. You've got to really be open to mending. You've got to really be open to hearing someone else. This person isn't mending themselves. They're not sewing the patches on all by themselves. There's someone else there with them. So you have to be very open, Aquarius, to listening. To uh, Look at that. Spirit's face is in the clouds. I don't know if you can see that. But there's an angel observing all of it. And I believe that it's God. Because 52 breaks down to 7. But it's in this pause pace, pause space where, you know, things can mend themselves. Things can heal. But I don't see you doing it by yourself. That's been the problem. The problem is that you did it all on your own. And you doing that, you stayed in this space with your foot stuck in this rock. So no one can come and help you. 
maybe no one, maybe you feel like no one wants to come and help you because it's only been your way. And that's the part of, that's what needs to be mended here. It's trust. It's companionship. It's compromise. Support. Because your card was also, you also had the Ten of Pentacles. It was not just you. It was everyone. When it has been just you, it's been, look, you've been thinking about this a lot in your head, your perspective. But exchanging gifts, do you see? It's not supposed to be just your way. And Treasure Island says help is on the way. Like there are people, or maybe you are learning how to be more softer with other people, have a softer hand, a softer approach to consider another perspective without judging it, without running from it, and actually embracing it. It's about really working together. And I feel like, Aquarius, you're really, in this time, you're forced into a space where you have to think and you have to see it. See it from another person's perspective, not just your perspective. You have to hear what other people have been saying. Other people have to hear what you've been saying. Now, I've got to shuffle from the Enchanted map just to get some clarity into where you are now. Ghostlands. Now, this card, my love, is about not staying in the past, not going too far in the future, staying in the present. But for you, it's when you're in the present moment, you're hearing, finally, the echoes of the, the places in your life where you have suffered you can hear it echoing in now, echoing, in, and it give you it gives you fear for your future. When you're in the ghost lands, you're this just makes you feel like you are detached. It almost reminds me of um, a person who dissociates from themselves, because that's what you're probably going to be feeling that for this month of April, Aquarius, is that you feel very dissociated from yourself. You feel very disconnected from yourself. Um, you feel very emotionally numb. Emotionally exhausted, maybe, or energ energetically exhausted, all levels of exhaustion. So Aquarius, you're 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 really centering yourself now, and not putting all of the energy on yourself, but also your relationships with others and your relationship with your work, your relationship with the world, and you're changing how you see it and what you've heard, how you hear things. Sometimes people, when they hear someone say something. They are hearing how they want to hear it. They're hearing what is a truth to them, and somehow they can make it about them. This energy, Aquarius, is sometimes you can be so caught on helping and healing the world or doing all these other things. That's what I'm saying. Like, you've been doing all of these larger, grand scale things and ignoring what's been right here. That you've been like, I don't have time for that. I don't want to see that. Yes, so you have balancing act. This is that equal give and take and finding balance for yourself again. Um, even as I'm looking at this, she's had her back to something for a long time and finally it draws her attention. Finally, she sees it outside of her window. Then we have ride the wave. This is again, yin energy. This is about, I'm going to have to surrender to this. Now that I'm thinking about it, there is a person, I've never noticed this before. There is a person on top of that dolphin. And that dolphin says, I'm going to help you. We're going to fix this. It will get better. And when it gets better, we don't want, we want this to be a new perspective. We want this to be a new reality for you. Moonlight helps you to connect with those feelings. It helps you to connect with yourself. It helps you connect with others. It helps you connect with that vision, that prophecy. Time, time, time is a thing. You have to wait not wait, but you have to, you you can't, the problem Aquarius is that you've been spending a lot of time distracting yourself with stuff and the solution is to not rush through this time by distracting yourself. You have to really kind of embrace it and sit with it and observe it and feel it and, you know, step into this new, not knowing what's going to happen. You're operating from the moonlight and you're in the ghost lands. So I feel like, Aquarius, that's a really heavy message for you, but I'm actually seeing really amazing gifts come from this and really incredible healing, and it helps you to deepen your relationship with others. Look, balance. 
it has, that's, I've been saying this since the jump, jump, it's not you give, 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 or you take, take, taking, and also how you give. What are you giving? Is the way that it is that you're giving, does it help other people, or is it just the only way that you know to give? Because if you're giving, and it's not that it's not appreciated, it's just not understood or it's not wanted. So you have to listen to other people's perspectives without getting offended by it and being like, I should have been listening to you all along. Miracles. See? When you actually enter into this space of balance, give, and receive, and how you give, the way you give, it's about hearing how what other people need and other people hearing what you need and you understanding your own needs. That's when the miracle occurs and it really comes in when you finally are still and you're not like racing around or jumping from here to there. Focus. Instead of racing out of this, you focus in on it. Okay. Um, I did say I was going to read for all of everyone with their romance life. Aquarius, you have so much going on in just that message that I'm going to leave this the cards. A lot of people are getting the same cards. Um, separation. We're also getting passion. And you're also getting very soon. So I feel like it'll pass, you know, this new life. You know, there might be separation, but I feel like the separation builds up on your passion. A lot of the zodiac signs that I've been working on for today are getting this this card of separation. And it's just that's just how things have been um, set up. It's perfect, believe it or not. But I feel like... You're, this separation of you not being with people you love or with the one that you love or whatever, it helps you to under, get better claim, clarity. And I also feel like you may have been separated for too long, but in this process of you learning, it helps you to um, bond significant relationships, romantic relationships in a better way. Whether you're with someone in a relationship or whether you're single. Either way, I feel like there's been an emotional separation, an emotional disconnection. And all of this is going to help so that you guys can better understand each other um, and how you give and receive to each other. So that it's actually not appreciated, but that is actually understood like love languages. Like if someone doesn't have the same love language as you, you can give to them all you want and they would not feel like you love them. So you have to ask them, what do you need? How can I show you that I love you? And then listen to them. And you have to know for yourself what that is. See? Share the message of love. I feel like Aquarius, I don't want to pick on you. I'm not picking on you. I'm just shuffling the cards for you. So share the message of love. I feel like you really have to be vulnerable with someone or be vulnerable with yourself and make that your new normal. Um, let your inner beauty shine. That means that you have things on your heart that need to be seen, heard, and felt. And you can't do that, again, if you're, you know, I just feel like you want to be appreciated. That's the sense that I'm getting. You want to be appreciated. You want to have intimacy. You want to have connection. You want to have fun. You want to enjoy. And even if this is your work, you want to be appreciated. You want to, you know, like what you do and the way that you do it. And right now, you just feel like you're just kind of like waiting. And then laughter. This just goes to prove my point that you really are trying to enjoy, enjoy. I feel like also Aquarius, at the root of this reading was you are a spiritual teacher. That's been really good, but you're also a human being. So yes, you're more a spiritual teacher, but it's very like it reminds me of Jesus, where he was a spiritual teacher and he had to do these things because he was a spiritual teacher because that was his responsibility. But he also was a man and he had to let down his friends even though like for example um Lazarus I think it was he let down his best friend and he, he had to he because he was a spiritual teacher he had to sacrifice his best friend um if you don't know that story then that's fine but just trust me and it's like that's I don't want to say that's the problem but it's like Aquarius Maybe don't be the spiritual teacher and do what's expected of you in that way. Do what, be, recommit yourself to connecting and rebuilding your intimate connections and how you are comfortable with that um, 
because that's what spirit sees for you. Okay, Aqu Aquarius, I think that was my heaviest message, but I feel like you're the one in the, the sign that's going to be transformed the most. Um, it feels a little weird, awkward, inviting you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I feel like people look for <clears throat> messages that are just like happy and light, but in the spiritual world, it's not always that way. Sometimes you have to hear the hard-hitting things, but, and I will always give what I see and what spirit tells me to see, um, to say and to what they are showing me. So um, I do want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we talk about astrology, astrology tran transits, what's going on in the planets, how it will impact you. And there are also other videos, plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.